listening to the NXT Podcast, your home for weekly NXT reviews and insight. The beautiful part of NXT is that when one dream ends, another dream begins. Find all of your NXT news, recaps, and analysis right here. So with that being said, we only have one question for you. Are you ready? We thought so. Let's get the show started right now. All right, guys, this is Memphis Mark coming to you from uh, Mullet Manor, and we're going to do the NXT review for 926. Um, and of course, they're getting ready for No Mercy in uh, Bakersfield coming up this week. So, um, yeah, so they're going to start it off with a Global Heritage Invitational Final Match. Group A and Group B meeting uh, Butch and Joe Coffey. And, uh, you know, uh, I didn't like the crowd at the, at the start because uh, there was a little slapping going on and uh, the crowd started hollering, you got Butch slapped. Uh, kind of like that. Uh, but, man, you know, Coffey is so technically sound. And uh, and Butch is such a good grappler, you know, going after the fingers and the, and the joints and everything. So it, it's a good, solid match. Uh, you know, eventually... Uh, Gallus has got to get involved a little bit, so they end up getting tossed. And uh, yeah, it was kind of good though. Coffee though, uh, he did do something. You know, I love the traditional moves that these guys sometimes do. Um, Coffee was doing a half crab, you know, uh, like a Barry Windham kind of version of it back in the day. Uh, but yeah, it was a uh, it was real good. We even had a uh, a uh, mishap from a Booker T. Uh, calling uh, Joe Coffey, Joe Gacy, a little mishap there because he was uh, excited because it was a pretty good match there, you know. So uh, they showed, of course, the viewing area, and uh, you had Metaphor and Noam and them doing their Ocean's Eleven clothing or whatever. <laughs> I don't know if their theme was this week, but, uh, yeah, uh, good match. Um of course, it always with the premise of them beating the crap out of each other, uh, and then Noam gets uh, the winner a week later. So they're just hurting themselves to help him. But uh, Butch is going to end up winning uh, this match. Uh, they go to the outside, and uh, 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 Coffee goes to make a move and misses and hits the stairs, and then uh, that leads to the bitter end, and uh, Butch wins that one. So, uh, yeah, good little match. Uh, yeah, it really was. Uh, they go from that uh, to a Dominic Mysterio promo. And uh, they notify him after he's saying that he runs NXT and uh, that uh, he's going to take no mercy off. Uh, and then uh, the uh, uh, interviewer, uh, you know, lets him know that, hey, you've uh, there was a tweet earlier from HBK. And that you will be in uh, in a fatal, uh, uh, no, in a uh, three-way match. Uh, so, of course, Dom goes away mad. <laughs> and, and then they have the start of what is a series of uh, little spots on here with Tony D and Stax. Uh, they're going to have like a sit-down in a real nice Italian restaurant. They got all the family cooking in the back. They got some Zeta. They got some, you know, good wine. They got a little of everything you could want. And they're inviting three other tag teams. And uh, the first to show up are uh, the rather dapper Garza and uh, his partner. I just say the Garza Garza family. Uh, so they're going to do the first spot and leading into the second spot, but, uh, you know, good little, good little production and then everything. So, uh, not bad, not bad at all. Okay. Right. Okay. We go to trick and, uh, Joe Gacy with Ava in a match here. And, uh, you know, Gacy's been having a kind of a bad streak and, Trying to get the, uh, I think his trees had a little, a little uh, leaf damage. Maybe one of the roots is a little uh, waterlogged or whatever. But uh, this match looks like uh, it's going to be Gacy, you know, teaching uh, Trick a little lesson here. And, uh, you know, and Trick kind of surprises you. Of course, the crowd is is hollering, whoop, that Trick, which is a, 
always close to my heart. Uh, but uh, it uh, it was a good match. It was a good match. Trick really showed me his speed was better. Now, Gacy is good as always, and he was selling great. Uh, but even in the end, Trick is going to win this match. But Gacy looks good losing, <laughs> if there's a way. And then, of course, uh, they get him on the stick afterwards. So he does a little promo time, and uh, everything's leading up to to where he says, you know, pretty much, Melo's got a belt, you know, got a championship. You know what? It's about time I go get mine. Uh, and so, and he, he's he's a lot better on there. They asked him about the Melo Dragon off Dragon off match, and he's like, "Man, why are you even bringing that up?" Uh, so, uh, good realistic little spot there. Liked it. Uh, trick coming on. So uh, after Trick leaves, uh, they go to Blair Davenport, uh, and she's doing her little promo on uh, on Gigi. You know, explaining that uh, Gigi jumped on her last week, and she got up. Well. Miss Davenport explains that when uh, she jumps on someone, uh, they don't get up. Uh, and after that, we go to an interesting little promo. It's uh, Andre Chase, Chase U, and uh, Duke are uh, looking for Thea, and uh, and then all of a sudden they run across uh, J C Jane, and uh, so J C lets them know that yeah, she's here and. Uh, She's got kind of a new look, <laughs> and she comes out. Of course, the guys are like, oh, gosh, oh, no, we can't look at her that way. Uh, so uh, I like the way the angle they played on it, uh, innocent angle like that, uh, young lady coming out, uh, you know, uh, to womanhood. So, yeah, good little good little spot, of course. J.C. Jane's got that evil grin, so, uh, you know, she's up to something uh but they're gonna go from there to uh josh briggs and baron corbin and uh baron comes out to some new uh intro music uh everything the crowd really seemed to be into it uh you know and and josh man i tell you what these guys it, it's good to see baron in there with somebody the same size now Josh is younger and, and still got that younger muscle on him where Baron's probably been doing a lot more cardio as he's gotten older, uh, being an athlete himself. So, um, man, they, it looked good to see them in there. Uh, they were really, uh, really playing the angle up that Baron said the locker room was soft and, uh, good to, uh, as jr would say it it was a slobber knocker uh you know they beat the crap out of each other two big guys moving around the ring good good sincere or good series of moves on each of them on offense uh, uh they were just uh it was a good match good match uh you know and uh, of course baron's gonna figure out a way to to win this and uh, and they can't let Briggs not look good too. So that's where they go from there is getting that going. But I tell you what, uh, Baron's going to end up winning this match, and uh, looks good. Uh, gets on the stick and uh, pretty much calls out Braun. <laughs> and so he goes a couple minutes on on Braun, and then uh, Braun's music starts and. He comes out looking like he's going to, you know, get on the, uh, you know, the mic himself. And, uh, no, he just punches them. <laughs> and they go into a barrage. Looked pretty good. Good scrum. Uh, you know, I liked it. I liked it. Uh, and uh, it was the theme a little later on, too. Uh, so, yeah, good, good little, good start to the show. Uh, we got a slobber knocker reference. I mean, Doing good, doing good. And, uh, of course, you're going to have Trick now. Trick's got his confidence up, and he's going in to talk to the to the man, uh, HBK. Uh, so, yeah, they show him going in there to uh, ask for his shot. So, Trick, coming of age. Now, after that, they uh, go into a Tiffany Stratton, um, Becky Lynch promo, you know, for Extreme Rules, their match coming up. <clears throat> do a good little spot on that and uh of course after that we've got hank and tank uh, 
uh, in their matching uh, 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 dicky shirt. I know, I don't know, but uh, yeah, they coming out uh, fired up, furred up, uh, and uh, they're going against uh, with Reggie uh, uh, Bronco and uh, Lucian. Uh, kind of like uh, these moves on both sides, really, but especially on Bronco and, and Lucian, uh, they. Uh, they looked like the road warriors used to work because they couldn't do a lot of stuff at the start. They were just so big they could overpower you and make it look good. And uh, in this match, you know, that's kind of what they do. Uh, and, you know, that they were both teams were fast. Uh, they were uh, athletic. Uh, looked good. I like what both sides are doing. Uh, Hank and Hank and Tank really kind of come on. Uh, you know, but. Uh, you know, Reggie and the guys doing their own version of their nation of domination or whatever. I don't know. They came out and there's some big old guys because Hank and Tank are pretty big themselves. And both of these gentlemen are a lot bigger uh, than them. Uh, and I'd tell you what you would think, uh, cause n- as far as on TV, haven't seen them a ton in the ring, but look, they both, both teams look good. Uh, did they they just need time they just need to simmer a little bit more they need that ruta to uh set up a little bit more so good match uh, uh bronco and, and lucian are going to win with a little help from reggie uh and our scripts or whatever you want to call them um but they're calling themselves uh what, what was it out of the mud otm out of the mud so i can see this being built up uh and then, uh, yeah, after that, they're going to have a little spot with Gigi. Gigi's going to have her return promo, and then uh, the lights go out. And Blair Davenport beats the crap out of her. Lights come back on. So, <laughs> oh, Blair strikes again. Uh, so, uh, yeah, so she's messed her up. Uh, and then they go back into Tony D., uh, and now the Creed brothers have shown up too. So, and you know, uh, the Creed brothers actually didn't do too bad. They let Brutus always ask about the food and a uh, typical Brutus type move, you would think. So, uh, you know, good leading in. This is like the second or third spot with them, you know, so kind of liked it. Uh, so now you got two of the uh, three teams there. Uh, and uh, they do a little spot uh, with. Uh, Axiom, Axiom, and um, and the big strong boy. Uh, they're talking in the locker room about their uh, three way coming up, and uh, well, Trick comes in and says he'd rather tell him himself uh, that three way match is now a fatal four way for a chance at Dom's North American Championship. So uh, yeah, uh, pretty good. I mean, pretty good so far. And then we're gonna have. Dijak. Dijak and Eddie Thorpe. And I like me some Eddie Thorpe. Uh, this is going to be a strap match. And uh, and it was Raw or SmackDown, one of them. Somebody had a sign that was uh, that just said Eddie Thorpe. <laughs> it was a little odd. And they, they were sitting like three or four rows back. So you got to see it a few times. But uh, yeah, so they got the strap match. And uh, of course, Dijak's got the belt that he. Uh, started all this with his pat boone belt or his white belt uh and uh and eddie's got his family there uh including his six-year-old niece so you know what that's gonna (laughs) what that means that uh they're gonna he's gonna get whooped in front of uh in front of his family and the six-year-old does a good acting job you know does real good uh you know, Eddie ends up getting the win after a pretty good match, you know, and, and a couple of times in this match, Eddie, I, I was like, man, is that a smaller, uh, Randy Orton? Uh, just some of his look a little bit, you know, uh, I kind of liked it. Uh, the match was good. Uh, they let, uh, uh, Eddie get a good win and then he goes to celebrate and, uh, turns his back on Dijak and Dijak puts a whooping on him ties his feet up with the ropes and then uh, with the strap and then proceeds to whip the crap out of him with that belt uh you know right in front of the family so uh yeah a lot of whooping until the refs got there uh, so uh yeah 
Uh, and then they do a quick little spot that uh, Thea's announcing that she has new ring gear, too. Uh, but you're going to go to a match with uh, Danny Palmer and Thea uh, with J.C. Jane. And Blair does come out and snatch the headphones off of uh, Vic and and uh, and let everyone know what she just did. And, uh, yeah, Vic looks shocked. Uh, I, think, I think Booker T says, you were just manhandled. Uh, so, but yeah, it was a good little spot. Then they, uh, of course, the match Palmer and Thea. Uh, Thea is is gotten a lot better. She's she's good, you know, the new entrance and everything. But uh, this Palmer girl is, uh, you know, I mentioned sometimes I, I like to see a wrestler that was a you know a, a gymnast, not a gymnast that's trying to be a wrestler. Well, she kind of looked a little bit like the uh, gymnast that's trying to be a wrestler. Uh, a lot of flips, some some cartwheels, you know. Uh, I mean, they were both fast, uh, you know. But, uh, yeah, in the end, Thea is going to make her tap. And uh, so that's the way that ends. Uh, and they go into a little spot with Mello, and he's on the phone. And, uh, you know, uh, uh, Trick's coming in, you know, like, did you see my match and, and everything? And. Of course, he's trying to be, you know, as friendly and, and what as he can, but he's busy, you know, so he's kind of, you know, they're building this up to where, you know, uh, Trick's been put on the back burner. So, uh, yeah, we're building up to a Trick Mellow showdown. Uh, it's something big on down the road. Uh, yeah, but, uh, yeah, after that, there's <laughs> some more of a Mellow and the guys, uh, you know, uh, no, I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. It was a Baron Corbin promo after that. And, uh, bam, a Braun shows back up. So a bunch of more fighting. Uh, yeah, a lot of fighting there. Uh, but they're going now to the fatal four-way uh, for the North American title that Dom has. Uh, it's Dragon Lee and Axiom and, and Tyler Bate, the big strong boy, and uh, Trick. And, uh, of course, the crowd's going crazy for Trick and hollering, whoop, that Trick. But uh, at the start of the match, they they, they whoop Trick. <laughs> they whoop him. Everybody's getting a free shot on him. He seems to be the butt of the joke as far as it going. You know, but he is so much bigger. And he's so good, though. Uh, he made Axiom look good. I mean, Axiom, of course, is, is, is great. Uh, but... <laughs> The size, you can't teach or can't uh, do anything. Size is God-gifted. I mean, it is it is what it is. So, uh, But Trick sold good. Uh, I thought, uh, you know, uh, it was a good match. You know, they, you know fast-paced. Everything was good on that end. Uh, and the crowd was definitely in it. And it had a great ending. Uh, so, I mean, you know, with Trick selling, uh, you know, uh, uh, they're all, but they started doing a lot of, uh, uh, it seemed to be uh, music references. Uh, there was Vic saying, let the bodies hit the floor. You had whooped that trick, you know. So I'm like, uh, you know, who's going to, uh, who's going to Bakerfield? Who's, uh, who's going to Cali uh, with an aching in their heart? I mean, I don't know. To see Dom that's doing dirty deeds. Done, okay, never mind. I'll, I'll shut up. Uh, but yeah, they, uh, Tyler does a, uh, his spin, his big strong boy spin, but he gets both of the luchadors and, uh, spins both of them at the same time. Looked really good. Um, so yeah, it was, uh, it was all good. And then the ending, uh, a lot of headbutts for some reason, everybody wanted a headbutt trick. And when they headbutted trick, trick headbutted, uh, big strong boy. Uh, so they all fall out. Trick falls down and happens to pin the other gentleman and wins the chance to go against Dominic at no mercy. His first title shot. So, uh, yeah, it was the ending that was, was good. You got to go back and watch the ending. It's, uh, I was really, uh, <laughs> I liked the way they did it. Uh, so anyway. Uh, then you've got your final spot with uh, Tony D and the guys because uh, Reggie and, and Bronco and Lucian show up and uh, they're pretty much demanding their spot or they'll tear this restaurant up. But uh, 
and then Brutus is asking about more Zeta or more pasta uh, the whole time. Uh, <laughs> it's, uh, uh, you know, all of a sudden a bunch of Italian guys come out of the back, uh, you know, and so, uh, you know, Lucian's like, oh, you didn't tell me. He, he rolled like that. So, yeah, good little good little spot. I mean, good little. He announces that there's going to be a fatal four-way for the belt at uh, No Mercy. So, uh, but it was a good little spot. Uh, Tony loses control, gets control, uh, you know, kind of funny, got his point across, you know, good little spot, good little spot. Uh, so, uh, but yeah, they're going to go from there. Uh, where Mello and Trick, uh, Trick runs in and catches up with Mello that looks like he's leaving and, uh, and lets him know, Hey, you know, do you see that? You know? And, uh, Mello's like, man, I got, to, I mean, not leaving. He's going out for the contract signing. He's leaving the back. And, uh, so yeah, just there again, uh, Mello just kind of, he's busy, ain't got time, you know, for Trick. So Trick's coming out on his own. So, uh, they're building, they're giving him the push. They are giving him the push. Uh, but that's all leading up to this contract signing with uh, Mello, him, uh, and trucking off. So, uh, you know, they come out, and you you know how these things, they always end. They are, you know, it's some kind of fight, something, or close to a fight, or the refs are going to get in, in between, or, you know, it's always the way this ends. Well, uh, this one... Uh, Mello's like, let's just sign this. We know what's going on. We've signed this, and let's go. And, of course, Dragon off and him go into their scripted responses for a few minutes, you know, going back and forth and uh, saying a lot of nothing with a lot of words. Uh, but they end up doing the signing, and uh, they have a few course words for each other after the signing and there's a lot of staring down and testosterone going on there so yeah it looks like uh uh the show's about ready to end and uh of course they catch up with baron corbin <laughs> and baron starts in on braun again and bam <laughs> it's like edward scissors hand or whatever something you, you say his name too many times he just shows up and uh yeah, so Braun shows up, and they proceed to uh, tear into each other again. But they make their way out to the parking lot. And, uh, and Braun's trying to get, to, I guess, to his rental car or whatever. So he slams, uh, Braun does, slams uh, uh, Baron into, like, the back quarter panel of this, like, SUV. This I believe it was a GMC SUV. Dents the crap out of it. And... All I kept thinking is, I see all this glass. And, you know, we had a little controversy on that other channel with that other company uh, about using glass. So I'm thinking, ah, oh, they're getting ready to make fun of them. But no, no, they don't. Uh, you know, they, uh, <laughs> they end up whooping each other all over the car. Uh, Braun tries to spear him and almost takes the doors, uh, one of the doors, the passenger door off the hinge. Uh, you know, a lot of <clears throat> slamming around. Well, Baron goes into a, a, a door, like back into the studios. <laughs> and where Braun's like, uh, where are you at? You, you, uh, you, uh, female cat. <laughs> and he says, here I am. So they start back at it. And they fight around through there. And eventually, uh, they go through the awful thin sheetrock wall of HBA, HBK's office. And he's in there like flossing his teeth or something. I don't know. He's in there pretending to do some paperwork or whatever. But he's like, security. Uh, <laughs> but they went through that wall pretty easy. Uh, <laughs> I mean, all in all. Uh, good angles, good storylines, uh, you know, uh, having Eddie Thorpe's family out there, putting a personal angle on that side, uh, good matches, um, even with coffee and, and, uh, and Butch earlier in the, you know, first match of the, of the show. So good matches, uh, and, and good angles. So <clears throat> guys, I, I would say that you, this is good to go back and watch. Uh, and now they did announce that, uh, that uh for dominic's match uh with uh trick 
after he was saying, you know, and, and you know, Dominic got that black eye, too. Uh, but uh, after him saying he runs NXT, HBK comes back and makes a special referee for the match, which is Dragon Lee. So, and that could go in a bunch of different angles in itself. You know, who does he want to uh, face? Does he want to take the belt from Dom, being a fan of uh, his father, Ray? A lot of different angles, you know, so who knows how they're going to, because I don't think they'll put the strap on uh, on uh, Trick, but I've been wrong before. That's for sure. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, guys, uh, it's been an interesting week, you know, with all the uh, – all of the uh, cuts and everything, uh, who's going where. Uh, some of these guys like Dolph have, have not really been on the uh, independent circle for, I mean, they're established wrestlers. I mean, uh, you know, somebody like Dolph, he might not have to go to work. You know, he could maybe do his whatever he wants to do and not, you know, go back to the ring. Who knows? But a lot of, uh, <clears throat> a lot of controversy, a lot of big rumors, uh, so, and who knows if that's the last of the cuts too. So, uh, we will just have to wait to see. So, uh, yeah, big, uh, uh, and they even referenced it, a PP, what was it? PPL, whatever, uh, premium, uh, no PL, uh, uh you, yeah, you get it. The premium live event. Um, uh, so yeah, got no mercy coming up in Bakersfield, the streets of Bakersfield. Uh, so, um, yeah, we'll see how that goes. Should be an interesting card. Should be, uh, a good show. So, um, yeah. Okay, guys. Well, I guess we figured everything out. Uh, we gave a good review, uh, let you know, go show, go back and watch. And, uh, man, I guess we can, yeah, we can wrap it up now before I mess it up. So, uh, as always guys, help them shelters out if you can, uh, a lot of them are really full this time of the year, too. So, And spay and neuter, uh, always. And, uh, guys, this is Memphis Mark. And uh, hmm, let me check. Let me see. Am I? What am I? What's my name? Oh, I'm out. Thanks for listening to the WWE Podcast. Don't forget to subscribe on your favorite podcast app so you don't miss a show or head to wwepodcast.com and for all of these shows ad free head over to patreon.com slash wwe podcast until then we'll see you next time